Surprise! Criminals cannot rely on not being extradited to the UK after Brexit anymore. According to a decision published on Thursday by the Higher Regional Court or the OLG in Karlsruhe, those prosecuted can be transferred. However, the British authorities must guarantee that the conditions in a prison where a criminal is sent meet the minimum human rights requirements set out in the European Convention on Human Rights. With the decision, the Higher Regional Court declared the extradition of a British man wanted for drug trafficking to the United Kingdom permissible. Just a year ago, the same Higher Regional Court had rejected another extradition as inadmissible and released a criminal who was also wanted for drug trafficking in Great Britain. The court justified this at the time by saying that Great Britain was not prepared to answer detailed questions about prison conditions and to provide guarantees about prison conditions. These may be required between the EU and the UK if there are valid reasons to believe there is a risk to the protection of the fundamental rights of the requested person. In the current case, however, the British authorities answered all questions and provided guarantees about the prison conditions, according to the Higher Regional Court. The court therefore found the extradition to be permissible. Despite ongoing structural deficiencies in the United Kingdom's penal system, such as continued average prison uh, overcrowding, as they put it, any risk of inhumane or degrading treatment of the person being prosecuted has been reliably eliminate, eliminated according to this. And according to the OLG, the decision is legally binding. The ruling conservatives are also threatened with collapse in the parliamentary elections in the fall and not only their presence. Rumors of attempted coups are making the rounds. But is Sunak losing control of his party? The fall in inflation opens the door to interest rate cuts, as uh, Chancellor of the Exchequer Jeremy Hunt said. And Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's Conservative Party is still well behind the opposition Labour Party in opinion polls. They are hoping for a tailwind from the positive economic figures ahead of the upcoming parliamentary elections, the exact date of which has not yet been set. The Labour Party said prices were still high and people were worse off after 14 years of conservative government. In Great Britain, as I said, the poll numbers for Prime Minister Rishi Sunak Tories are as bad as they were a year and a half ago. As the polling institute YouGov announced on Thursday, the Conservatives are only 19% popular. The last time they had such a bad value was in October 22, when a relief and tax cut package put together by then Prime Minister Liz Truss caused panic on the financial markets and price collapses. The Conservatives have ruled the country since 2010, but have been well behind the opposition Labour Party in the polls for some time now. Sunak, who replaced Truss in 22 after just 49 days in office, has not provided the comeback the party had hoped for. In the new survey, for which YouGov said it surveyed more than 2,000 adults this week, Labour got a whopping 44% compared to the 19% of the Tories. And the Tories are only four percentage points ahead of Brexit advocate Nigel Farage's right-wing populist Reform UK party, which has 15%. In Great Britain, the House of Commons will be elected this year, probably in the second half of the year. Sunak is therefore under great pressure. And according to British media, Tory MPs could try to unseat him even before the election. The British Labour Party's intention to sharply increase the tax on profit sharing by private equity managers after a change of government is making the financial scene already nervous. Labour Shadow Chancellor Rachel Reeves wants to increase the taxation of so-called carried interest for top earners from the current 28% to 45%. This would hit private equity and other investment companies hard. The co-head of a large law firm has already publicly warned that the tax plans would do more damage than Brexit to the London financial scene. So he admitted that Brexit damaged them. 
The carried interest is a kind of a bonus for successful de deals. That means the investment manager's share of the profits. And so far, the tax authorities have levied the tax rate for capital gains, which is 28%. And Labour criticizes this rule as a tax loophole. Three years ago, Reeves announced she wanted PE managers to pay income tax on carried interest. The maximum tax rate is 45% above £150,000 and Reeves estimated the average private equity manager would have to pay £170,000 more in tax and overall Labour expect, uh, expected revenue for the Treasury to be around £440 million. The party cites a study by researchers at the University of Warwick and the London School of Economics who evaluated data from 2017. At that time, around 2,000 PE managers received more than £2.3 billion in carried interest bonuses, an average of more than £1 million. And since a change of government is considered very likely this year, nervousness is growing in private equity companies as well as in their law firm and consultant environment. Neil Sashdev, a co-head of the London office of US law firm Powell, Weiss, Rifkin, Wharton and Garrison, warned the Financial Times last week that tax plans pose a greater threat to the location of private equity in the UK represent than the UK's exit from the EU at the time. And uh, SACDEF's US law firm just hired more than 100 new lawyers to advise PE firms. London is considered a leading center of investment industry and the lobby organization British Private Equity and Venture Capital Association has been trying to weaken the tax plans in discrete discussions with Labour for months. The BBCA argues that if tax rates are drastically increased, parts of the industry could move to other countries. London would lose top earners and the tax authorities would lose tax income. Officials at the Treasury, led by Jeremy Hunt, recently estimated in an analysis what the net effect would be. They assumed that a strong exodus of PE companies and capital flight and this even resulted in tax losses. According to this scenario, the higher tax rate would lead to a loss of £3.3 billion in revenue for the tax authorities in the five years from 25 to 29. Labour responded defensively, saying the bill was not worth the paper it was written on. And the Treasury acknowledged uncertainties in the paper. It is based on assumptions about the behavioural change of only around 3,000 people in the British PE industry. And the PE lobby points out that favourable tax rules also apply to private equity investment managers in other European countries. France, Italy and Germany taxed carried interest also known as carry, at rates between 26 and 34%. This is the result of an evaluation by the law firm McFarlane's. However, the favorable tax rate on the carry of private equity fund managers in Germany only applies in certain cases. It is disputed whether the carry is a disproportionate share of profits from the sale of a share in a corporation or a fully taxable remuneration for work says the law firm Rödel & Partner. If several conditions are met, the carry is assessed as self-employment income. It is then subject to the privileged partial income procedure of the Income Tax Act and is 40% tax-free. This results in a cheaper overall tax than with normal income tax. In Germany, private equity managers also benefit from a certain special tax regulation. In Britain, the struggle is now in full swing. The Bar Association has meanwhile tried to calm the scene. It's probably inevitable that the tax increase will come, said the London Hess of a large US law firm to German newspapers. Many people are very excited, but simply moving abroad is not that easy either. And Labour is negotiating behind the scenes with uh, private equity majors on the details of the tax plans. And Shadow Business Secretary Jonathan Reynolds recently said, we will work with the industry to deliver. We will see what the outcome will be after the elections. And if you want to know more, the next video is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.